Okay, I didn't film any of this yesterday, and I'm sorry about that, but I just, I just couldn't. It's really difficult to see this. Uh, can you tell that that's pink? Uh, let me see if I've got, I'll hold it up next to some of the grey stuff that I've got, so you can see the colour difference. So stuff on the right is grey, stuff on the left is pink. This very, very heavy fireboard is what we were putting up on the ceiling yesterday. I had Nick and Brian back to help me, which was really lovely. I haven't seen those guys for quite a few months actually on the project. So Nick the plumber and Brian the decorator. So they were helping me because the ceilings here are absurdly high. I mean, I'm not complaining, it's great, but they're very, very high. And so it was a three man job and I just didn't have time to film it. It was all hands on deck, it was very hot. And so, yeah, that was, that was a big deal. I've cut this panel here because it's going to be going up here, but I've also put this trunking in to protect the all the cables that come in. I've put a little angle thing here to protect it, and then I can fill this with intermittent foam to stop air going in and just to block all of that. So that's neatened that up really nicely. Very happy with that. You can see all the rock wool insulation that's in there as well. So the other thing I did is I've done one of these obscure diagrams that I understand that show me where all my lights are so 750 in from the end and 750 in from the edge and then I've got my smoke detector power cable 110 across and 400 in so I can then work out exactly where my lights are going because what I want to do in here well I've got a couple of things actually I want to get these holes cut out I appreciate I haven't fully finished it yet, and I appreciate it's not skimmed, but Albert the plasterer is so good that he can skim everywhere, even once the lights are in, so I can just pop the lights out and he can skim, um, and that's fine, but I need light in here, it's just so dark, I can't have it that any time I need light I open this up, that's just nuts. But also, what I need to do is I need to trim off a little bit of this board here, because I need to put that out the back of the house because the plastering or the rendering is about to get started which is really really good so that is a pretty important job pretty urgent and actually I've got the space here I've got enough light coming in this way I can move the wobbly tower over here I can get up there and I can I can cut that out so a couple of jobs to do in the garage today getting those lights in that one's super dusty, so it looks grey, but it is pink, as you can see with the rest of them there. So getting this cut and getting this done, and then I can wrap fire plasterboard, fireproof board, fireboard, whatever you call it, all up in there. That there is the little strip that I need to fill in. It is 24 centimetres from there to there, 240 mil. I also need to put another batten all the way along here, like that. To catch it which is great because I have one of those just down there hello so I've got these battens here so I've got plenty of batten and I've got plenty of board so we're not gonna have any problems just need to get on and do it all right it's just started raining so I'm gonna be keeping this fairly quick this section I haven't secured it up yet I just have to go and get my drill bit to be able to zip that in a bit weird I think I don't know there must have been ah this was laying on top of it so that bit's wetter than that because it is raining like I say so I've got this section to then fill in this gap I'm using the old two ladder trick to support that in because it's quite it's quite flexible stuff actually and I don't want it wobbling around and snapping so that's my second pair of hands I'll screw in top and bottom the whole way along and then switch ladders and then uh, I can do this bit here I'll also trim that section off the top and then I'm done, nice and quick. Not too difficult. I zip this in, I'm making sure I'm using waterproof screws, galvanized, what's it screwed or whatever they're called. It's raining, I'm getting on with it. That's my plan, which very unhelpfully just fell on the floor. But I've got all my bits up here and I am now drilling these holes out the ceiling. So this is, I'm, I'm using these uh, wireless switches again. So. This one basically comes from like the, the box and this 
brings the power to the light when it's wirelessly switched on and off, which will be controlled somewhere around there. So all of these are dead at the minute, and this is actually dead as well, so um, that's fine. Going through, marking up, drilling the holes. So I have four more to do along here, and I'm done. So it's, it's, it's actually a really quick job. This is brilliant. I know everyone's seen these now, these, is it D-A-D-E? The dust and dirt eliminator or something. It's, it's just so good, especially with plasterboard dust. But lath and plaster as well, it's just, it's just excellent. So very happy with that. Pleased to have you on the job, mate. So these are the two first lights here and then they step back a bit as you come into the room and the room widens up. These ones possibly could have been a bit further over, but I wanted this to be in line the whole way along, so it is what it is. Also, I didn't want to have it too close to the wall and then it have a cast a big shadow from here. I kind of wanted the light to splay out so you can see what you're doing down there if ever you need to do any servicing. So That's where we're at. Okay, so another one here, another one here, here and here, and then I'm... I can wire them up. Looking forward to getting some lights in here. You will notice it is considerably brighter in here. I've got three of these lights in. It's my smoke detector. So I've got one, two, three, four, five more to do. I am using these lights. These are fire rated down lights. They are fixed. They are dimmable, but I, I don't need a dimmer on them. I've got this wireless switch unit again which is excellent. They are so nice and easy to fit. I'll crack one open and I'll show you. And yeah, I, I really highly rate these. Lakiko, great brand. Very, and just, just really good. And it is very easy installation. And I think these first three lights took me all of five minutes, 10 minutes. And that first one here was a bit tricky because it has the switch feed and then it has uh, the connections, but it, it it's quick and easy. So yeah, I am very, very impressed with this. I think they look nice as well. They normally, uh, this one I've already taken all the wrapping off. But you can take the bevel off if you want, or it can tighten in place. There's a little, you can see there's a little kind of lug in there. So when you You put this on, give it a twist, and it tightens in place. And it won't fall off. It's got this rubber gasket here, which helps seal it for air. And then this has a little ratchet on it on the sides here. So when I close that and I squeeze it shut, it will grab. And then these here, so you press them to release it, but actually you can just push the cable in and it will accept the cable and then lock it tight in place and this bit here grips the cable here and here and then it screws down as well so it's honestly a dream to put in live earth neutral live earth neutral in out shake it all about and it is very very good they're not especially low profile right that is not the thinnest the other thin ones i've got are about that thin but then they have an external wire with the kind of connection block separate so uh, the ones that are in that utility room that I did before uh, are very, very thin, low profile, like that sort of size. And then they have a wire that comes off them where you make the connections and that kind of keeps the profile thin. So didn't need to worry about a thin profile on this. I've got tons of height under here because I've got eight by threes up in there and loads of space before you get to the rock wall. So lots of airflow. Very, very impressed. I'm just going to crack on with the rest of these. I've got to have the light off to be able to do it, obviously. Don't work live. So I'm not filming what I'm doing, but that is what I'm using. So I've done those two over there. I have left these two because I've actually run out. I need to get some more. I, I have other types of lights, the same as I've got in here, but they're a slightly different color profile, slightly different bezel. Even these ones actually, you can see these are bright white. Those are warm white. Well, that one is warm white and that one's bright, whatever. I really like these Lakiko lights, so I'm going to get some more of them. So yes, I'm not going to stress about this now. This 
room hasn't been this bright since the roof was off, frankly. So it makes a big difference. Having this. So yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna call it there. It's, Sunday, it's five o'clock on a Sunday. I'm gonna stop and relax for a little bit.